So this is May the 14th. 14th. Not sure whether you're back at school yet or not. I'm continuing doing these until you are. Right, today we are looking at the double O spelling power. Spelling vowel team. And this one is called Food is Good. And you'll notice that it makes two sounds, oo and u. And of course, you know what you're going to be doing after this. Food is good. So it's pretty easy. This is why we're just rushing through these ones, because it's a really spelling, really easy spelling pattern. Two O's. And just like when we did um, I eat bread and, and with steak, I eat bread with steak, I'll pretend it was several days ago that I did that, and that's why I'm fumbling on it. Uh, you just have to figure out, is it stewed or stood? Well, we know that stood is a word, so it's stood. Wood. Snooze. Do you like a little snooze in the afternoon? Because you can. Moon. Not moon. Hood, like Robin Hood, or the hood on my shirt that it appears I've been wearing all week, but I haven't. Mood. Foot. Remember, it's double O. O O. I say, you say, finger spell right. Stood. Wood. Clumsy. You won't do snooze. Yes, we will. Don't forget it's there's a silent E at the end of snooze. Snooze. Z with a silent E at the end. Moon. Oh, forgot to do the finger spelling. I hope you didn't forget to do the finger spelling. Hood. Mood. Foot. So I'm going to replace this chair before my homestay comes back. Assuming she gets to come back from China. It's a problem because China doesn't have Google. She can't actually do the work she needs to do over there. So she's going to be quite a bit older than she was intending to be once she's finished her bachelor's. Oh well. Have you read those back to me? Right, here is your sentence. True story many times. I stood on my cat's foot. I stood on my cat's foot. Of course, if you're very clever, you'll know that cats, because the foot belongs to the cat, it's cat apostrophe s, showing belonging to. Clever, I say clever. It's not about being clever, it's about having been taught, which I've only taught you as it comes up. Right. And then your challenge is to find as many o o words as you can and put them either in the o or the o. I presume you've read back that story to me as well. This story is called Little Dinosaur Escapes. This is the level, oh, I've got it level 17, oh, 15. Okay. No. Dinosaur Chase is 15. Little Dinosaur Escapes. Ooh. 
Here's the picture. He's coming out of his hole. Right. One very hot day, little dinosaur went out to look for something to eat. He liked eggs and he liked beetles and dragonflies, but his favourite food was lizards. It was time to go out hunting. There's a couple you can put in there. Look, 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 shook. I wonder which way they're going. Here he is down at the dry river bed. Remember, in countries that have dry river beds, like Australia does, you never stay in there for long. They're very dangerous places. You definitely don't camp in one. He went down to the dry river bed. Sometimes lizards sat there in the war on the warm stones in the sun. Little dinosaur looked around to see what he could find. A small lizard was sitting on a stone. Little dinosaur sprang on it and ate it, but he was still hungry. Big thunder clouds began to roll across the sky as little dinosaur looked around for something else to eat. He saw another lizard sitting on a black log. What luck? Little dinosaur sprang, but just then a flash of lightning lit up the sky. If you notice how they very carefully didn't show him eating the other lizard because because the reality of animals eating each other is pretty sad. The lightning scared little dinosaur. He slipped as he landed on the black log, and the lizard got away. The log wobbled, and then it rolled onto little dinosaur's leg. He pushed, and he kicked, and he kicked, and he pushed, but he could not get free. Hey, free. I wonder if you wrote down the word free, or doubled into the E the other day tree. There were more flashes of lightning and more crashes of thunder. It started to rain hard. It rained and it rained and water began to run along the dry river bed. This is why you don't stay there. <gasps> Big dinosaur was out hunting too. Did you put in two, not two, and not two, two. He saw a little dinosaur stuck down by the log in the river bed. Big Dinosaur raced toward Little Dinosaur. He didn't care about the thunder and the lightning and the heavy rain. He was going to catch Little Dinosaur at last. But the thunder was making so much noise that Big Dinosaur didn't hear what was coming. Dry river beds are very dangerous. Because all the water builds up. Just as Big Dinosaur was about to spring on Little Dinosaur, a flood of water roared down the riverbed and pushed Big Dinosaur over. The flood carried him away. The black log was carried away too and Little Dinosaur was free. Away he went down the river very fast, rolling over and over in the water. Sometimes his nose was in the air and sometimes it was not. At last, the flood washed Little Dinosaur over to the river bank. The rain had stopped and he crawled slowly up the bank and away from the river. Little Dinosaur lay down in the sun to get warm again, but he kept one eye open for Big Dinosaur just to be on the safe side. And the next book in that series is a troop of little dinosaurs, and I know that that's, a, that's one of the favourite books of one of you, Liam, and perhaps you'd better remind me when you're back at school and we can read that one together. Okay, bye-bye.